afternoon and a very good evening to you, the good people of YouTube. Hope you're staying everything grand and always when your world. Uh, today, people of YouTube, I am doing another video on the one pedal that I cannot live without. And uh, every year, it comes more and more and more and more to my attention how I cannot live without this pedal. I am, of course, talking about the glorious Zoom G2.1U. Uh, I first got one of these things. Um, it would have been Christmas 2004, I believe. Um, and literally, I, I I wanted the Zoom 606. I wanted to. Rep I, I was using the Zoom 606, which is a silver pedal. If you've been on the channel, you've seen it. You've heard it. You love it as much as I do. Um, I wanted a replacement for that just in case something happened to it. And mine was starting to kind of be a bit dodgy in the input department. Anyway, um, for, it was for Christmas. So my mum bought me this one instead because the 606 had been discontinued because of this. And when I first got this, I was a bit like, ah. Because I'm not one of those people who likes to relearn um, technology if that makes any sense. Like, you know, I knew how the 606 worked and I knew what it needed to do. I, I, I don't really, I don't like kind of tweaking things. Once they kind of, kind of set out like that, I don't really like, I don't enjoy the learning process of programming uh, multi-effects units or pedals for that matter. I, I don't enjoy it. I just want to play music and I want it to sound the way I want it to sound. And once it does that, I don't touch it again. Hence why all my pedals have got the same settings they've had since the day I got them. But uh, anyway, the, the, the G2 came along and I thought, well, this is cool because it's metal. And the expression pedal's metal. And you can also turn things off and on with the expression pedal as well, which is something you couldn't do with the, G, the, uh, the 606. And then I found out you could do multiple things with this thing and literally just fell in love. And literally, I've never not had one since then. Since 2004, I've always had a Zoom G2.1U on my board. And it's just fantastic. It's just the beastie pedal. And again, it is one of those pedals that, like, you know, if somebody said, I'm taking all your pedals away bar one, David, and you're never going to see them again, but you're only that one, what are you keeping? This would be the one. Um, because it's proved itself time and time again for me. I love the sounds. All the sounds you heard in the intro jam were made using the uh, Zoom. Uh, apart from the drums, obviously, that came from the RC-10. Uh, but again, you still have drums in this if you wanted to. I kind of wish I'd used the drums in the Zoom G2 now, but, you know, such is life. Because um, I, I did do that for years. You know, if you go back and look at some of those videos from 2017, 18, and 19, uh, I think even into 2020, I'm using the drum machine inside the G2.1U. And it's great, you know, it's very limited on patterns, but that's okay, that's fine by me, because again, I don't like option paralysis, and I like things that are simple and straight ahead because I'm thick, basically. Um, but literally, everything you heard in the intro jam, the distortions, the wah, the chorusing, uh, the delays, the reverbs, uh, the clean tone, all come from the Zoom. None of this was used, it was all from that. And it just is magical. Uh, uh, t to me, anyway. I mean, I, I can. I know a lot of people turn their nose up at, at, at these things, and it's like, you know, like that. And the, 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 these things get a lot of hate, and I don't know why. It's like the Marshall MG, you know, my my favorite amp of all time. It uh, just gets flack constantly. Oh, it's rubbish. It isn't rubbish. Uh, it isn't rubbish. It just isn't, you know. And I will defend that amp till the day I die of being one of the best amps ever made. Uh, to me, anyway. Anyway, um, yeah, basically, I'd, uh, you know, coming to the end of 2022 period with you, I just wanted to do a little bit of playing with the Zoom G2.1U. Um, it's just incredible. I love everything about it. I love the effects. I love the tuner. So I thought what I would do is I'm just going to go through some of the, the sounds it's got. Well, all the sounds it's got. So... I'm going to show you the clean sound I've got in a minute, which uh, I actually, when I'm using it for clean tones, when I don't have like a golden plexi on, when I'm using it for, for a clean tone, I just bump up the compressor and you'll hear that. And it also, it gives me that kind of, it almost gives me that kind of John Fashanti Blood Sugar Sets Magic kind of tone, which I'm very, very, I like very much. 
Um, but I'm going to show you the effects. I'm going to show you like, the auto wires, the tremolo, the phasers, uh, the step filters, choruses, flanges, you know, the delays, the reverbs. I'm just going to go through them and just let you hear all the different effects this thing's got. Uh, and I'm going to show you the distortions and basically just like, just let you hear the sounds. Because again, it's just such an amazing pedal. And again, it's nearly 20 years old. The G I mean, I actually, it probably is 20 years old. I don't remember exactly when they bought the G2s out. But uh, I know I said I got mine in 2004. So in two years time, I've had my first one 20 years. And it still works. And still functions. The only thing that's broken on it are the um, store button, which broke and fell in because it's plastic. But again, that only broke about two years ago um, when I stopped using it for live work. I still use it. and It's, it's on my pedal board in uh, my, my bedroom. If you saw the video the other day, um, what's on my pedal shelf, you, you'd have seen it. Um, and also the drum machine button has broken on that one as well, sadly. Uh, but yeah, but they're plastic. Yeah, they're the plastic bits. And um, I never really mess with them anyway, to be honest with you. And again, once I've got these things set, I don't really play. Once I've got the sound I want, I leave them alone. Um, you know, then that's just that's just the way I've always been, really. Anyway, so yeah, without further ado, I'm going to uh, plug Mr. White in. I was using the Give Music Telly at the beginning because I'm in love with that thing. Uh, one thing I, I have found out with the Give Music Telly, though, is it's quite tiring on the hand um, after a while because the neck's so wide. Um, it's kind of quite gets quite tiring, again, for the reasons why I would never recommend that guitar for a beginner. But it's still beautiful but i'm gonna plug mr white in and we're just gonna go through some sounds people with you with fear on the zoom g2 literally all the sounds you hear today are going to be from g2 i'm not going to use any other pedal um and yeah i love it i i cannot rave enough and again if i had the money i would hoard these g2s like nobody's business i would just literally everyone i saw i would buy uh, I really would. Uh, and I, I would buy the ones without the expression pedal as well, because they're stunning as well. I prefer the one with the expression pedal, but the smaller version without that and just the bank up and down, I still love them as well. So, um, so yeah, let's, let's start with clean tones and go from there, really. And I'm just going to basically just spend like uh, about tw 20, 30 seconds on each kind of sound, see where it takes me. And just, just let you hear the effects and just let you hear how good this thing is and... It's so inspiring. It really is. It's so inspiring. So, uh, without further ado, let's go. <laughs>
Okay, YouTube, so there you go. That's some sound examples of the Zoom G2.1 U. I want just a quick little video, end of the year, celebrating the glory of the Zoom G2.1 U again. So, and just this is messing around with it more than anything. Anyway, um, for this well, I hope this video has been somewhat interesting and informative. And again, if you see one of these things, give it a chance. You never know, you might love it. Like I do. Anyway, um, yeah, if you like videos I do here, please consider becoming a patron at Patreon. Uh, other than that, I'll see you again for another one. People tune very soon. Uh, yeah, thank you much indeed for watching. And uh, yeah, these things are amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, not much more to say. Not much more to say. I thought, I've got to, go, I've got to get a video on the Zoom at some point this year. So here we are. So anyway, thank you very much. Goodbye now.